meiotic cell division. Cell division is the process by which a parent cell divides into two or four daughter cells. In eukaryotic organisms, there are two distinct types of cell division. These are mitotic cell division, which produces two identical daughter cells, and meiotic cell division that produce four different daughter cells, which are haploid gamete cells to pass on genetic information from parent to offspring. Meiosis is the process by which a special cell to N in the sex organs of the organism divides to form haploid gamete cells. Meiotic cell division is a reduction division because it produces four daughter cells that have half the number of chromosomes of parental cells. When a cell divides in this manner, there are three key outcomes. The first outcome is this process produces four daughter cells. The second outcome is each daughter cells are haploid that have only half of the number of chromosomes of the original cell. That means each haploid cells have one chromosome from each homologous pair. The third key outcome is the daughter cells show genetic variation due to crossing over. Meiosis must entail two divisions to produce four daughter cells. The first division is meiosis 1 and the second division is meiosis 2. During meiosis, the following things can happen to the chromosomes. The first thing that can happen is the DNA duplicate. The DNA in each chromosome makes an exact copy of itself with some types of proteins, that is histone proteins. In this situation, the original and the copy gets attached by a centromer. This original and copy of the DNA that get attached by centromer is called chromatids. The second event that can happen during meiosis is the DNA become condensed. That means become much shorter and fatter. The third event can be the duplicated chromosomes of a homologous pair find each other what we call synapses or pairing of homologous chromosomes to form bivalents or tetrads. In the bivalents, Chromatids from different chromosomes, what we call non-sister chromatids, undergo crossing over. In this situation, the chromatids exchange equivalent sections of DNA or fragments of DNA. What are sister chromatids and what are non-sister chromatids and cytokinesis? Sister chromatids are chromatids from the same chromosome and have the same allele sequence, whereas non-sister chromatids are chromatids from different chromosomes of a homologous pair that have the same gene sequence, but the alleles may be different. Cytokinesis is the process that leads up to the cell dividing into two during meiosis. The chromosomes or chromatids are moved around the cell by the spindle fibers of microtubules through contraction. In the two divisions of meiosis, the chromosomes that attach to the spindles differently so that in meiosis 1, whole chromosomes are moved and the chromosomes that make up a homologous pair are separate. In meiosis 2, the chromatids that make up each chromosome are separated. The main stages of meiosis 1 is prophase 1, Metaphase 1, Anaphase 1, and Telophase 1. Here are the main stages of meiosis 1. At resting stage or interphase 1, chromosomes duplicate themselves in order to be shared by equally by each daughter cells. At prophase 1, homologous chromosomes pair and exchange segments, which means the duplicated chromosomes find each other to form bivalents and tetrads, as we discussed before. In this case, the chromatids from different chromosomes or non-sister chromatids undergo crossing over and exchange certain fragments of chromatid. During prophase 1, centrosomes, that is, pairs of centrioles, move to the opposite poles and spindle fibers appear. During metaphase 1, Tetrads or bivalents line up at the metaphase plate or equator and microtubule attached to centromer of chromatids. 
during anaphase 1 pairs of homologous chromosomes split up or separate to opposite poles due to contraction and shortening of spindle fibers in this case sister chromatids remain attached during telophase 1 and cytokinesis 1 chromosomes of homologous pair and cytoplasmic contents of parental cells get separated and produce two haploid cells in this case the two daughter cells formed at the end of meiosis 1 are haploid each cell contains only one chromosome from each homologous pair even though each chromosome comprises two chromatids so the cell has half the number of chromosomes of the parent cell what we call meiotic cell division is a reduction division the main stages of meiosis 2 meiosis 2 is divided into the same four phases as meiosis 1 but there are some important differences these important differences are the first one there is no crossing over in prophase 2 as we know crossing over only occurred in meiosis 1 at prophase 1 the chromatids line up side by side in metaphase 2 and headed from south to north but in meiosis 1 at metaphase 1 chromosomes line up on the equator or metaphase plate chromatids are separated in anaphase 2 but in meiosis 1 anaphase 1 chromosomes are separated the four phases are prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 in meiosis 2 the two haploid cells that are produced from meiosis 1 automatically enters into prophase 2 in prophase 2 one chromosome from each homologous pair gets remain the centrioles move to west and east and spindle fibers appear in metaphase 2 chromosomes line up side by side from south to north at anaphase 2 chromatids from each chromosome are separated due to contraction and shortening of spindle fibers in this case chromatid is separated and moved to different directions west and east at telophase 2 nuclear membrane appears and cleavage furrows develop to separate the whole cytoplasmic contents equally to each daughter cells lastly at cytokinesis 2 we acquire four daughter cells that contain half number of chromosomes of the parental or original cell each daughter cells are different with each other and with their parental cell due to crossing over or recombinant formation that occur in meiosis 1 at prophase 1